Welcome back everybody to Let's Play Dragon Quest 9. We're fresh off the 12 grotto bosses and whatnot, and we're gonna actually check out the Inn of Stornway. Now, what I have done... Actually, I'm gonna talk to Eren real quick here first, because remember way, way, way back in the beginning when I talked about you can... Uh, canvas for guests and get people in there and tag people to come in your inn and you can take treasure maps off them if they bring them with you. Well, if they bring treasure maps with them to give to you. And the inn is considered fully expanded, meaning you get all the bonus quirks that come with it when there's 30 people. Well, since I do not have access to Wi-Fi or wireless because this is on an emulator, I have just hacked into the game. So now she's telling me that, hooray, there's people in the end. No, I'm just going to go through this really quick. Uh, yeah, see, what you can do is you can take a treasure map with you. And it must be, you see how these grays out? It must be a treasure map you've already completed. Don't ever tag Granite Tunnel of Woe because everyone can get that. So I'm just going to pick a map at random even though that's an awesome map. And of course, you gotta save your game and crap like that, just in case something goes wrong. Blah 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 blah. Not that I really care because, well, I have safety abuse, so. Not that it's gonna hurt me by saving here or anything like that. So basically, you just sit here until you get up to three people. You can put into sleep mode if you want. You can only canvas up to three people at a time, so. Once you get three people, you need to back out. And my cat is. Oh! I swear, she only does this when I'm recording. That's okay. No, I don't care, because I can't canvas anybody winning. Okay, so they start by coming in this room right here. Now, for us, some unexplored reason, all these people who are just in default clothing, by the way, have blue boxes around them. I have no idea what the hell is up with that. I don't know if it's just due to the way I hacked, hacked this the uh, the save game, or because of emulator issues, I have absolutely no idea. I find it utterly hilarious. <laughs> There's actually a book of interest on this bookshelf. Not that it really matters, because all it tells you is to go read the notice board. Yeah, whatever. You actually have access to this room before you can just people, so... And they'll have the same message or whatever. If you talk to them and they have a treasure map, they will give you a said treasure map. And it's like, yay, so-and-so found to give you a treasure map to whatever treasure map it was. And basically I gave them names saying I totally have the game to... to get a full in, you know. Erin, are you happy now? Blah, 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 blah. Like, stu stupid stuff like that. And I just gave them level 10 and random classes and whatnot. Not that it really matters. I didn't give them any maps because I can easily hack them into my own game. And we noticed the end looks a little bit different now. Does it yet? Or am I thinking of the next upgrade? Oh well. Ah, it is. It is different. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah. So now that we actually have people in the inn, this, which was roped off before, is now no longer so. This is where the other guests will go. They'll first go into the room and any older ones will get kicked out into the upper floors. I didn't go down. Took me forever to figure out. I'm like, how can you notice areas? You notice this area is roped off too, but we can fix that as soon as we've talked to some people. And there's side rooms and stuff here. It's awesome. Hi. I'm just talking to him so I can have everyone reset our dialogue and stuff like that. Now, once you get over 30 guests, the oldest one will start being kicked out. But if you view the guest book, you can actually manually kick them out. So if you have, like, one buddy who's trying to give you another a bunch of maps, as long as he's in the end, you can't tag him again. But you can read the big guest book to kick him out. You can do that by talking to Aaron, so. Hey, we have a treasure chest up here. Sadly, they're red treasure chests, so they cannot be reopened. Damn loading screens. Well, at least the music still plays, which is pretty cool. Did I talk to you yet? Yeah, I, I don't understand the whole the whole blue box around them thing. I have absolutely no idea. I'm guessing it's an emulator issue. And once again, you can raid people's drawers and whatnot, but it really doesn't matter. I mean, the point of this is to upgrade the inn and get treasure maps for people. I don't give a crap what they look like. 
I didn't even give him any special dialogue or anything like that. By default in, in the safe hacks, they're level zero. And at first I thought that was due to it, because you're not supposed to ever be level zero. But, yeah, well. Like I said, I'm guessing it's an emulator issue. So let's go downstairs and talk to Aaron again. And that should open up the final area. Yeah, you should open up the yeah, blah, 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 blah. Leaf. Alright. So now that last part should be reopened. Yeah, see? Now we can go even further upstairs. This is the last, this is the top floor. Hey, what's up? Haha, <laughs> hacking, haha. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, I, I just put like a stupid message in the um in my names list for the end. I'm Edison. I love how I push the doors and they swing out and they don't manage they manage not to hit me. Yeah. That's really beautiful. But but too bad I can't like open like the nightstands or anything like that. That would be kinda cool. I suck. I can't open that door. Oh, because it's roped off. Oh, I gotta talk to Aaron again. Oh, fine, fine, fine. They'll stay open now. I noticed the inn has received a makeover yet again. Wow, you are really quick about this girl. Yeah, I didn't want to stay, but that's all right. No, no, no. Yes, thank you. Oh, wish it was a button that says, "I don't want to talk to you anymore." Immediately end this dialogue. Like immediately. Yeah, she is really quick about this renovating stuff. Although it's mostly due to the way I hacked the game that I keep having to go and talk to her and crap like that. So. And this is the last room. I am from somewhere nice. Really. Hooray. Yeah, most of talking to people. Blah, 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 blah. I just want to make sure Aaron doesn't have any other dialogue after this. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know if there's anything on these bookcases, but... Oh, only a thousand gold. Okay. Ooh. Alchemy recipes! Awesome! I was hoping there would be alchemy recipes in here, but I wasn't sure if there was going to be. Oh, you douche. Crackpot. Yeah, I know that. They can also be stole from, like, Ragged Reapers and stuff like that. I love how fast we can read and figure out how books don't interest us. Yeah, I have some saints' asses, so... But it didn't give me the recipes to uncurse stuff. Oh well. Yeah, that's how you fix cursed items. You gotta alchemize it with Saint's Ashes. Hooray! More recipes! Oh, I already took that one. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Blah, 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 blah. Did I get the middle one? Yeah, okay. Alright, oh my god, I'm like nine minutes into this video and I've done absolutely nothing but show off the end. Alright, now we get on downstairs, see fairness. Ooh! Red slime loading on the screen. I got a metal slime when I was testing to make sure this and you know, I don't like this new look. I like the the the, the grayness with, with, with the blue better. Yay! And this is what happens when you have a fully upgraded in. Hooray! So because of you, Aaron. Of course, this is big news, because if you remember way back from the beginning, in this world, innkeeping is serious business. Yay! Yay, 
Yeah, I was gonna get to that. It actually opened like five minutes ago, but now she's gonna tell us about it. I like how they give us a little cutscene and stuff there. Alright, so let's go down to the fountain, which is also now no longer blocked off. I don't think it will spawn the treasures until she actually says so. Now, depending on... There's like several different like groups or something. And depending on what group your game is in, um, will change the four spawns right here. Yay! Alright. I like how they have guardian statues down here, even though there's no more guardians anymore, but... Because you can upgrade your inn before you finish the damn game, that's not really of significance, but I just think it's cool. Did I already get this, this for these recipes? I have no idea. Okay, no, I'm just telling me about alchemy. Whatever. Alright. Pretty windows. I am gonna rob the bank, Ginny. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, you guys should get accolades for, like, storing stuff in the bank, which I actually never did in my DS cart. Because unless you, if you're cheating and not dying, you'll never have to do that. But you still get accolades for it. And it's actually... I actually hacked the game to make it my birthday, even though my birthday was well over a month ago. This is going to be important in a minute. No, I didn't want to talk to Crackpot, I was trying to talk to Selma. Shut up! I'm gonna throw you against the wall. Then maybe you'll have a crack in your pot. Ha ha. Alright, I know you've talked about this way, 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 way back when. But when you connect to the Wi-Fi thing, you can get the Wi-Fi shop. Um, you can connect to it once a day and they'll have uh, about five or six items from a set group of items that the server uploads every day. And you can manipulate which of the the random selected or whatever group of items that um, are supposed to appear in the shop. You can get specific ones to appear by manipulating that. Obviously I can't do that because, well, emulator no Wi-Fi. But every time you connect, there's also new quests uh, that if you haven't yet, not yet downloaded will be downloaded to be available on your cart, as well as other special guests that will appear over here. Now it's all cumulative, so as long, you know, you're not going to miss anything. As long as you connect, like, every, all the quests and all the special guests have since been released a few months, you know, as of a few months ago before it was, like, every two weeks something new will be released or whatever. But now they're all on the server, so as long as you connect, you'll get it all. So you won't miss any of the old ones or anything like that. So let's talk to this guy right here. No, we don't care about the Royal Suites because the Royal Suites themselves have jack crap in them. But until you actually get the rest of these special guests, of which there's four pages of these people. Obviously these are the special guests I just talked about by downloading and stuff like that. You only have access to the Royal Suite, but there's nothing really of interest in there. I'll just go there anyway. Now, unfortunately, every time you go in the elevator, you have to watch that stupid cutscene. Takes entirely too much time. And it sucks. But yeah, see, we have pretty rooms and stuff here. And there's, like, nothing of interest. Like, there, there's no bookcases. You can read crabby stuff from the dressers. And there's no treasure chest in the Royal Suite, so it's like, why the hell would you ever want to go here? Yeah, see? I mean, it's, it's pretty looking, I'll give it that, but there's nothing really of interest in here. And they didn't even give me some crappy items I can sell for, for five gold out of the drawers. What a bitch. Yeah, see, there's nothing else in here. See, every damn time you have to watch this. Wish you could skip it, but no, you can't. Now, anyway, these special guests will give you items. Oh, I didn't want to talk to him again. I want to talk to the elevator with the lift or whatever the heck you want to call it. Um... Here's me yawning there. Now, the, the, the order of these appear in on the list is not the same order as they were given to you. The order I have listed for what to do to get their items, um, I'm going to do it in order that they were released in. So, because I have a list in front of me, and I don't have this stuff memorized. 
see they're so pretty. So what you need to do is... Most of these guests will give you separate items of their own little uh, wardrobe, so you can actually dress up like them, which is really cool. Like, like even like wigs and all and stuff like that. Yeah, it's, it's pretty funny. But most of them you, you can... Um, some of them have like three pieces of equipment, some of them have up to five. Now, most of the time when you talk, you can either, t you can, you'll, just by talking to them, you get one piece of equipment. Most of them, if your annex fully expanded to 30 people or more, will give you something else. Uh, some will give you stuff on your birthday, which is why I hacked it so today is my birthday in the game. And there's even some people who, if you talk to them as a particular class, will give you stuff. And some of them even have, uh, quests related to their equipment, so. Now, these are like old protagonists and heroes and people of significance through the other Dragon Quest games. I have no idea who the hell these people are, nor do I really care. So that's what we get for just talking to her. Yay, and it's my birthday, so I get something else for her. And I'll give you a party popper, well, the ones that actually talk to you on your birthday. You always have to go through their, their first set of dialogue first, because after this dialogue boss screens, then it checks if you've met the next requirement for um, the next piece of equipment. So, so that's my fully expanded in. And her shoes are, come from a post-game quest. I don't know what quest that is. Do I really care right now? No. Because I'm not doing quests for another couple episodes. So I'm gonna change my class because to get another piece of equipment I need to be a martial artist. Hooray! I'm gonna cut off my class changes and stuff in between because, well, it just takes too long. Alright, so I'm a martial artist and I'm naked. Hooray! And we get her pants. Hooray! Now, once you get everything from her, the people, or the, um... Or everything you can get at the time for the time being, they'll just not say anything extra. So, I'm gonna go through here. And I'm gonna edit out the elevator and change my class. And talk to the people in the order they were released. Fun! I notice everyone has an identical room, by the way. I'm gonna read everybody's drawers because it's fun. Hello, sir. How are you doing? Um, sure, I'll take your shirt. Now I've changed my class to a priest because, well... Meow. Hooray! Oh, I got birthday cake from this guy, too. Wow. Whatever. Yeah. Well, Patty is pretty hot, but yeah. That's my full in. Sucks how you have to like, he, he's like, so, so. He's like, are you trying to drop something right behind here? Yeah. And I'm a priest, so that's what I get for being a priest. And his shoes are from a post-game quest, so. On to the next one. First things first, we need to raid people's drawers. Fun. Hello there, madam. You are awesome. Hooray! And she's saying the inn is awesome, so... Once again, we get our clothes for talking to her. Yay, it's my birthday! Give me something! And we get her wig. And another party popper! Whee! And for the full in, y'all know see there's a particular order to this. And we get her gloves, which is pretty cool. And we get her shoes. Well, she's going to give us her shoes because we're a mage. Yay! Yeah, and I think they'll they'll actually tell you when you're done. Obviously, the first two I don't, can't get the last pieces yet, but she's only got four. Your drawers didn't have anything, good sir. And this guy's a priest too. And yeah, you know it's a pattern here. You know, by talking to him, you get you get their clothes and yeah. 
It's my birthday! Yeah, what am I wearing? Like, wearing, like, like, a, like a big, like, pendant or something or a big sign on my chest saying, It's my birthday. Give me shit. Actually, that would, that would be pretty funny. And my fully and stuff. Give me! I love how they're, like, they're all like, Oh, thank you for, you know, telling me to come stay here. Well, the only reason they found out is because I connected to the internet, which is, well... That's how you get them. Which, which, if you think about it, would isn't it like kind of like breaking the fourth wall or something like that? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. And by being a priest again, we get more stuff. And now we have everything he has to offer. So we'll never have to talk to him again. Hopefully all the room costs the same amount. Hello, you've got a pretty bow in your hair, Missy. Uh, no, I haven't heard of you because I don't play Dragon Quest games other than this one, so... But, yeah, um, uh, hi! Nonetheless! Hooray! Oh, it just looks a lot like her hair. We get another birthday cake. Awesome. It's your dog's birthday. Okay. Mm, good to know. Yep, she just ran away from home. I have no idea how old she is or how small she's supposed to be. I don't care. Hooray! And I'm a luminary. So I will get a force gift from her. Hooray! Awesome. Well, you gave me enough stuff. I mean, I didn't really do anything. <laughs> yeah, thank you everybody for all the free stuff. I made you give money to Eren, and I get free shit out of it. Well, it's, it's about time I actually get rewarded for doing something in this game, instead of, you know, doing it out of the goodness of my heart, so... Oh well. Damn. Hello, uh, nice orange hair. Prince Princeton. Ha ha ha, very funny. And I get his orange cloak. Okay. Give me more stuff! Yes, I have a big sign on my back saying, Go stay at the inn and store on way. Which is on the other, the opposite side of my big sign that says, Give me stuff, it's my birthday. Yay! Yes, I got his pants now. Oh, yeah. I'm not even paying attention to that <laughs> right now at this point. And for being an environmentalist, I get more stuff. Ew, you gave me your muddy shoes. Okay, that's all he's got. Okay, he's also got something post-game quest stuff, so... Yes, I want to take it to the lobby. I love how I'm doing, like, the exact same thing every time I go in a room. Um, nice hair. Yeah, do you know your sister's here? She's, like, two floors down or something. I have no idea. Uh, how about I don't? Oh, a darn good copy. You know, I would have appreciated something else, but that's okay. Excuse me, I am a Celestrian. I am awesome. I didn't redecorate it. That was Erin, and she's really fast at doing it. Oh. Yeah, she's a bitch. Maybe the person in this room would be just a little bit nicer. As long as we don't... Um... Hi! Um, you're kinda funny looking, but at least you're polite. Yeah, I'm kind of walking around in my underwear, but it's my birthday, so I'm allowed to. I guess since you can't get naked in this game, this would be the closest thing to my birthday suit. Yay, and he doesn't have anything more to give us. But that's okay, because he's very nice. Alright, awesome! More crappy stuff. Um, hi there. Um, 
Is that really saying something if you're the daughter of the richest fisherman ever? Uh, cause... As far as I know, fishermen aren't really that rich, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm gonna blurt it out. Oh, it's my freaking birthday! Give me stuff! I actually didn't get anything for my birthday on my birthday. I was at MAGFest the whole time. Hooray! And... Yeah, that's all we get from her. Yeah, a few people don't really have... much other than the standard three. Um... Hi! Hi, Millie. Um, no, I really haven't, but that's okay. Yay! How do they people these know that these clothes aren't gonna fit me? And t because there's men and women, it's like they all want me to cross dress. And we get some cake. Hopefully it's fresh. Hopefully it's spice cake. I like spice cake. We get bracelets. Um, thanks, because that's really gonna help me. And by being a sage, we get her pants. And her shoes we get for a post-game quest, so can't get those yet. This is getting tedious, guys. This music is starting to make me go insane. I feel like I'm going up and down, up and down, the up and down the elevators. Um. Hi, big guy. Um, I don't think I'm gonna fix fit in these things, but thank you anyway. Hooray! Now give me stuff. Hooray! It's my birthday. Now give me party poppers. Why is nobody giving me ice cream? Give me some ice cream, damn it! Or give me money. Give me gift cards. Give me something other than cake. I already have enough of it. And I want to barf it all up on the floor. Oh, there, and we're probably glad to clean it up. Now, for being a ranger, we also get an additional item. And his... I don't think I'm going to fit in your pants, honey. Hooray! And we took all of his stuff. Awesome. What's up, girlfriend? I hope you don't mind I just raided your closet and stole some of your money. Yes! Give me stuff! I just want to think I went to close. I hope this is clean. Hope you're not giving me my dirty underwear. Oh, a brilliant replica as opposed to just a really good copy. Yeah, Erin's been really good to us. She's been grateful we've been doing all these things for her. Um, I'm not really doing any work. I'm just telling people to go give them their money. But that's okay. And for being a mage... We get more stuff! Yay! Well, mage isn't the only class in this game that deal with magic, but whatever. And that's all her stuff. Oh, 30 gold coins. Wow. You, sir, or madam, or... Okay, sir. Okay, good. You're, you're pretty rich. And he's gonna give me close of a prince, too. You know, there's a couple other princes in here. Well, at least one. I have no idea. Yes, I prefer to keep it a secret. That is why I'm going to loudly tell you. And we get his hair. Why do these people carry around their hair, copies of their hair everywhere? It's like, here, do you want to dress up like me? Yeah, all of a sudden, yeah, I had to. I spent about 35 seconds hacking it all into the game. Shh. And for being an armamentalist, we get more stuff. And we don't get his pants until we do a post-game quest, so. Not his shoes, his pants. So we get to dress up like him, but not wear any pants. That is awesome. Hi! It's nice nice? Is that a word? Well, it is now. Hooray! We get more clothing! Are we all fitting this in our pants? Yay! And we get more people's hair. This is creepy. 
I'm not sure Lover Who is going across the seas and you need something to remember you die, but that's okay. And we get more bracelets. And for being a paladin, we get more stuff. And even though she's fulfilled her destiny, she's going to stay here forever. I am totally running out of things to say for this stuff. <laughs> this just is so genius. <laughs> but it's got to be done. It has to be done. It must be. At least this guy only has three things and I don't need a specific class for him. Yay! You know, I actually didn't play this game on my birthday. When I was at MAGFest, so... I reminded myself to do it, and I just never did it, so I don't even have, like, on my DS card, I don't have all these birthday stuffs. <laughs> Which sucks, but that's okay. I mean, I can always change the name of my, my birthday in the game, or change the date on my DS to kind of get around it. And he doesn't have anything else for us. Too bad. Ooh, well, holy water! That's different. Wow, you look awfully familiar. You look, you look just like somebody else I visited a few minutes ago. But we get her tops and her bottoms. Awesome. Well, considering she's not really wearing much, I guess, she, you know, we kind of have to. Yeah, it's my birthday. Oh, it just looks a lot like it. It's not the same thing. It just looks a lot like it. Oh, you're not telling me, huh? Yay! I love how these people are like so fascinated by by how well this inn is doing. But then again, in this world, in keeping serious business. Now for being a minstrel, if you notice we look like we did way back in the beginning before we changed ourselves to a warrior. <laughs> you know, this thing says she's got pants for post game class, so why is she telling me she gave me everything when she clearly hasn't yet? Ah oh, well. What's up, dude? Nice haircut. I think he put a little bit too much hair gel in it, but that's okay. Yeah. How'd you get that dude, by the way? I, 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 I'm gonna take a wild guess that, you know, you're gonna give me a piece of it. Because it's my birthday, and apparently I want a piece of your hair. Oh, it's a hat. Sure is. All the rooms look the same. And we get some pants. Pants is a funny word. And because we're a thief, although I don't know how someone can big as him can really be a successful thief unless he just knocks people out with a crowbar or something. And I probably just insulted someone's beloved Final, uh, not Final Fantasy Dragon Quest character, but I really don't care. Now his shoes are from post game quest, so blah 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 blah. Skip to the next person. Hey, you're balding. Do you know that? I, I have a bunch of wigs in, in, in my pack if you want to fix that. Oh, some gusto garb! I wonder what they'll do. Um, are you coming on to me? Can you really call it a mullet when he's half bald? I don't know. Whatever. Whatever! Yes, I know I made the inn and stuff all pretty, and you're gonna give me something for it for some reason. I don't understand this motivation. Hey, this hotel is awesome! Have some more free shit! Okay. I'll take it. And for being a gladiator, you know, I look like my old self. We get some stuff. Yeah. And it's gloves. Once again, post game quest crap. Oh, hello! You have a fancy helmet. Can I have it? Please? And I get a suit of armor. Okay, fun. And it's my birthday. Please give me something. Yeah, party popper. Well, I'm gonna really have this big party downstairs. I think we should invite Aaron. She's worked so hard. She needs a break. Let's give her some of these clothes. She needs to look all snazzy and stuff. And I get mittens. Um, thanks? And because we're a fellow warrior, we get more stuff! 
Yeah. I got my equipment. Now you have nothing to go home with, but at least your pack is a lot lighter, and now you can fit all those souvenirs you bought in it. Sweet! Well, don't you look adorable in your little pigtails. It's only a tiny village. Well, if I haven't heard of it, why even mention it? But that's okay. It's good to get, you know, your town out there. Maybe you can boost the economy a little bit or something. I don't know. Yay! Yep, I have it advertised and a sign on my chest. You can't remember your dead brother's birthday. That is not cool, Adam. That is not cool. Ooh, posh pumps. Awesome. Yeah, she gave me her favorite clothes. Now she's got nothing but crap to wear. What are you hiding all the way down here for? Nice mohawk, by the way. And he's gonna give me stuff. Ooh, I got a vest! Ooh, snazzy. I actually wear vests to work on a regular occasion. Because it's fun. Because I don't have to wear crappy uniform shirts anymore because my boss is awesome. And... Yeah, I get his hairdo. Okay, um, thank you very much. I'm pretty sure... What, what, what do people don't have inns this big in their own worlds or something like that? You know, considering how innkeeping is serious business, you know, you'd think there'd be a bigger one somewhere. And for being a gladiator, again, we get his shoes! Can't get his gloves yet because they're another quest-related thingy. And I'm back to being naked again. Hello, Florette. How are you doing? Um, you can call me by my name, please. Yeah, that, that would be kind of nice. By the way, it's my birthday. Can you give me something for that, please? Everyone else did, and it would be kind of rude if you didn't. What is with all these people having crazy accents? Why can't people talk Well, I guess since they're foreigners and stuff like that, but whatever. Why is there, like, always somebody who's got this big, stereotypical, over-the-top French accent in, like, everywhere? You ever notice that? Let's do that with like the Germans and the Russians too. It's like they always have this like big stereotypical accent. It's like not all of them talk like that. And for being a priest, she's gonna give us an additional item. What? It says to talk to her as priest. Give me your shoes. Or maybe she already gave me to him and I just wasn't paying attention. Whatever. Oh, last room. Um, hi. Um, I'd like to see your pretty hair because I know you're going to give me some of it. Hooray! And thankfully, she's only got three things to give us, which is awesome. So we can sit here in our underwear to our heart's content. She's not going to care. Let me get a hood. I want to see your pretty hair! You're probably the only one with a decent hairdo in this place. But that is okay. At least she's very humble about it. And like that other witch who was like, Oh yeah, you're, you're supposed to do what I tell you to do, and you can't even argue with me. Well, she was nice. I think we should go work for her. Or let's not. So that is all the guests in the end. That took forever. My recording is up to an hour. I have to cut a lot of stuff out, though, from traveling back and forth and stuff like that. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much everything I can kind of do in the end. I forget what the hell Patty does. Do I really care right the moment? No. If I think of it and it's important, we'll be back here. There's actually uh, quest-related stuff with a few of these characters, which we will be taking care of eventually. But that's going to be all for now. This episode has gone way too long already. So thanks for watching, guys. See ya!